Mark. I'm sorry. I got to talk to Dominic. So Dominic. Dominic missed out on right side of the Now, Dominic, when we're doing the area, let's kind of go through the steps again. Think through this step by step by step. Dominic. No, 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 no. Dominic. What type of angle are we trying to figure out? Or what, I'm sorry, what type of figure do we have? A triangle. A triangle. And we're trying to find the area, correct? Yeah. So the first thing we want to do is identify, first thing we want to do is identify um, the formula. Well, area of a triangle equals one half base times height, correct? The next thing is now we need to determine the base and the height. Uh, Dominic, can you put the phone back up on the desk face down? Oh, you have it away? Literally. All right, where's what? My hands are. Okay. And it's in my pocket. Oh, okay. I'll cool. Stand up. All right. Uh, I <laughs> that. That's cool. No, it's fine. That's cool. So, you have one half base times height. <laughs> okay. So, um, <laughs> so, um, so now we need to determine what the base is. All right. Now, the difficult thing with this, Josh, <laughs> is that we have three different bases we could have, right? But remember, we need to find a base that we can also find the height. So if I said 7 was the base, do we know the distance from the base to the height? No. No. So we don't want 7 to be the base. If I said 8 was the base, do we know the distance from the base to the top? No. No. If I said 9 was the base, do we know the distance from the base to the other end? Yeah. Yes, right? So therefore, we're going to say nope. area equals one half nine times six. And now we can just multiply nine times six is going to be 54. Divided by two is going to be what's up? Done, son. Oh, wait, so you're dividing by two? Or you're not? You don't have multiply to. Multiply by one half is the same thing as dividing by two. Then you don't have to. Yes. 